So here are a couple more examples about how to write chemical formulas, uh, or excuse me, write chemical names from a formula. So if I was given a formula like say CCl4, you'd look and see is it a binary, is it a ternary compound? Well, I see two elements, carbon and chlorine. So you'd come up here, is it binary, is it ternary, is it an acid? No, it's, it's binary because it's got two elements, carbon and chlorine. So now what we're going to do then is go uh, down our chart, binary compounds. Is it a metal and a nonmetal or two nonmetals? Well, carbon and chlorine are both nonmetals, so that takes us over here. In that case, what you do is say that the prefix for the first nonmetal and then a prefix for the second nonmetal ending in ide. Okay, so you could say monocarbon tetrachloride. But by convention, we don't say mono if there's one atom of the first element. So you just call that carbon tetrachloride. Examples that you're familiar with might be carbon monoxide. Carbon and then monoxide or monoxide. You don't have a double vowel. So carbon monoxide. Another example would be carbon dioxide, CO2. Another example, if you have N2O3, so you would have a binary compound again and two nonmetals. So you'd use a prefix and another prefix. So this would be dinitrogen trioxide because there are three oxygens. So dinitrogen trioxide. All right, the prefixes I gave you in class the other day, but again, they are mono, di, tri, tetra, penta, hexa, hepta, octa, nana, and deca. So those are the prefixes uh, counting to 10. All right, so let's take a look at another one. one that might look a little bit more confusing. Come over here, do, 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 get rid of that. All right, now, suppose we had, um, let's just do one that looks really wild and crazy. How about BiPO4? Then we'll put the, uh, put a, whoops, we'll put a um, five out here and a three right there. So you'd have to look at the, at the flow chart. It's ternary compound because there are three elements, bismuth, phosphorus, and oxygen. So these, these all have polyatomic ions in them. So have polyatomic ions. And where do you find polyatomic ions? Well, those are the guys down at the bottom of the periodic table. And, and I spent time in class with you a couple of days ago uh, going over the chart and the, and the magic four and how the things in the four ended, ATE and the things outside the four. Uh, excuse me, the ATE ending for the things in the 4 mean 04, and the ATE ending for the things outside of the 4 mean 03. We had our conversation gathered around our periodic table. So, uh, we got bismuth 5 phosphate. Or we got bismuth phosphate. I, said, I just said the name out of habit. So let's go back now to uh, the website real fast. And, oops. And then come to the periodic table. All right, so if you look at bismuth right here, it's right down here. So it's got a plus three and a plus five charge. All right, so we'll go back to the uh, Adobe. All right, so you got bismuth with a plus three and a plus five. So we've got to figure out which one it is. So once again, your ternary, since, oops, since it's variable, Since it's variable, you come down here. Whoops, keep down. not real great with this pen I've got. So you're going to come over here, variable charge, and then it's a. You're going to say the name of the metal and the charge on the metal and a polyatomic ion. So we went this way because bismuth was variable. It could be three, could be five. So metal, the charge, and a polyatomic ion. So you look at the polyatomic ion phosphate. It's minus three. You know that because of the periodic table. Uh, down at the bottom of your periodic table, it tells you phosphate's minus 3. At this point, that's how you're going to know it. Right there it is, phosphate minus 3. There are five phosphates. So 5 times 3 is negative 15. So that means that this has to be positive 15 to make it, uh, the charges equal. There are three atoms of bismuth. 
So if the total is 15 and there are three atoms making 15, you're going to divide 15 by 3 and you get 5. So the proper name is bismuth 5 phosphate. All right. So I'll stop it there for uh, this set and I'll come back with one more movie.